My name is Gabriel Ingetz. I am a Durham-based artist, and I am installing a mural on 205 College Street. So I actually have a friend in Asheville who put it on my radar, and you know, I've been a public artist for about five years now. A lot of my work is for municipalities and county and city government. So, you know, this, this project really resonated with me in the fact that one, it was uh, focused on equity, um, something that's very important to me and I think an important talking point in today's society. And then two, um, I spent a lot of time in Asheville over the years. I love this place and this will be my first mural in Asheville. So I'm very excited for that. So I'm born and raised in Durham. Uh, I've traveled to Buncombe County countless times in my life, uh, just visiting Asheville, friends, uh, partners, family. Um, but I've lived in several other places. I actually lived in Ukraine four years as a kid. Um, I've lived in, uh, I went to school at Syracuse University where I got my um, Bachelor in Fine Arts degree. So my, I'd say the thing I like to do most besides uh, creating artwork is, uh, or maybe I like it more, uh, fishing. So when I come here, fly fishing is really at the top of my list. Um, probably actually gonna do that after this interview. Um, but also just uh, love to hike, um, love to explore the music and food scene here. I know that's kind of what Asheville is known for. I've been creating artwork as long as I can remember. My sister, really talented artist, um, and she is older than me and always pushed me to push my craft. It was always a competition um, as kids, and I, I give her a lot of credit in getting me into the arts and pushing me to a certain level. I wanted to transition that into actual career when my, you know, parents and and, and teachers started to get, getting me to think about, you know, going to college to study art. And I ended up at Syracuse University studying um, illustration, which is where I got my BFA. So over the years, my focus has definitely shifted in different lanes. You know, early on, it was more clothing and design, graphic design focused. Um, it was a brand called Runaway in Durham that I was focused on for about eight years. Um, where we were really trying to create a platform for the arts in the Triangle area. I knew at some point my career would shift back into fine art. And that shift happened about five years ago. Um, I got some opportunities to create murals. And from there, it's just continued to grow. And you know, the beauty of murals is it's a giant billboard for your work. So as you do more and assuming you're getting better, your notoriety, your, your, your clients coming by word of mouth just just grows and your network grows and, and that's kind of what I feel is happening now. I've been on larger walls before. Um, most notably recently I did a project for the Carolina Hurricanes which was, you know, I think it, the wall topped out at 80 feet um, or the, the wall topped out at about 100 feet but our mural went 80 feet high. It's a very vertical mural. Um, had to be an 80 foot boom lift for that. That was a little bit terrifying just because whenever the wind kicks up, you start rocking a little. Um, I was also terrified I was gonna drop a paint can on somebody because <laughs> we had it all coned off, but people were not following the signs at all. They are just walking right under me. Um, but yeah, so uh, Dunwall's bigger, but this one, again, like I love big high impact walls. This is definitely a big high impact wall right in the middle of downtown. So extremely excited about this piece. I think it's gonna be an awesome just intro for my art to debut in Asheville. I've never done a show or had a mural here. So hopefully this is the first time. And technically anybody can be an artist, right? Um, I think what makes somebody creative is just that they're taking the time to actually, you know, tap within the, a part of their mind that they might not tap into. As long as you make time outside of those things that maybe don't feel so inspiring to find that inspiration and, and tap into a passion, um, I think creativity and passion are definitely interlinked. Um, I think it's hard to be truly creative with something you don't enjoy. You know, with me, I definitely, you know, considering myself a multidisciplinary artist, I'm always finding new mediums and um, inspiration, especially in public art, because pretty much every project I go into, I'm, I'm trying to tell the story of that, that place and the people there. So the, the inspiration always changes, but the creativity is really trying to find the medium where I can tell that story, but in my own way, stylistically, 
I came into it saying, look guys, I am not from the area. I'm very interested in the project. I would love the opportunity to do a community engagement campaign prior to my design to learn about what equity means to Asheville, do my own research and attend events, which I've been doing for the last week here, focused on Juneteenth specifically, and um, use that feedback to then create my design and present it to the committee and board um, once all that feedback was internalized and it would inform the design. Um, you know, we're working with three apprentices from Arteria Collective. They do amazing work in arts and culture for social change for young people of color in particular. And again, I just think that that speaks to, um, speaks to different methods that you can use to really try and tap into a community, especially when you're trying to work with youth. I think working with organizations like them um, is extremely important. Public art is, is really speaking on a, a people in a place. So obviously cultural identity is huge there. And then history is what informs all of that identity. So tapping into the history and then pulling that into a mural or a sculpture or whatever the project may be, um, just trying to figure out how to visually interpret and represent uh, those stories. The responses have been great. Most of the responses I'm getting thus far are um, focused on housing, healthcare, uh, criminal justice, education, and civil rights history. So, you know, obviously we can't boil all those down into one mural. Or if we did, that would be very hard um, and maybe lose a bit of its focus. So my job now is to take all that information and, uh, and present it visually in a way that, you know, will resonate with the community. We can't please everybody, obviously, but my goal is to, to at least make it as um, inclusive and, you know, genuine as possible. That is my biggest challenge. I'm up for the challenge. I know I have a ton of work ahead of me. Hopefully, at the end, it does represent racial equity in Muggum County, whatever that may look like. Uh, I'm starting to get my head around it, but so many factors, so much history, all good stuff. Thank you.